Grandpa told me what happened to you today. If I had been there, I would have given them a stern talking to. I'm a little glad we didn't have to see that. I asked Myrna to tell you about when she saw Elizabeth Paratrovich. You actually saw her? When I was just a little girl. <gasps> you were a little girl? <clears throat> I mean, of course you were. I'm just trying to picture your story. In 1945, Elizabeth was in Juno. Stores in Juno still refused to let native people in. Elizabeth wrote letters and talked to lawmakers. She helped make a law that said you couldn't discriminate. You couldn't be unfair to native people. Finally, the day came to decide on passing the law. I was watching. I must remind you, Senators, that Native people are treated unfairly in this state. How do you think Native children feel when they see signs that read, No Natives Allowed, and aren't allowed in the same school as white children? Today, you can tell the world how we are treated as wrong and pass this law to make discrimination in Alaska illegal. After Elizabeth's powerful speech, the law passed. People couldn't keep Native people from entering a store or movie theater or anywhere else. Elizabeth Paratrovich was amazing. Yes, she stood up for native people and it changed the minds of so many. This coin reminds us of all the hard work it took to gain equal rights for native people. But there's still a lot of work to be done. Watch your favorite shows anytime on the PBS Kids video app.